Let music charm me last on earth and greet me first in heaven. Those two lines from the song, O Sing to Me of Heaven, perfectly capture the mission and purpose of Eventide. We've come together, all of us, a group of volunteer singers from different towns, different religious and spiritual backgrounds, but with a unifying passion. That passion is to provide a bed of music on which a person may lie in harmony in the transition from this time to next. We do that by singing in small groups, as you've heard, at the bedside. There may be occasions where you are in the room singing and the patient dies. Where is this person? Where have they gone? Have they gone anywhere? What do I believe? How do I believe legacy is carried forward? And so these are all common spiritual questions. On Wednesday, November 24, Thanksgiving Eve, my daughter had arranged through her friend Mary Johnson to have Eventide come to sing for Dad. At 2 in the afternoon, a group of about 15 men and women placed themselves around my father's bed and began singing. The words they sang, there are <coughs> angels hovering around, changed everything for me. Once again, I thank all of you for taking care of my family that day. But when we do training with our volunteers, we always talk about taking a moment to just kind of wipe your mind out from all your expectations before you walk into someone's presence. Hi, good morning. 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 We're here to sing again. But it was just the power of the music, reaching to a certain part in the heart and the soul that is very healing, um, it's very basic, I think, to us as human beings, and it connects us to each other in ways that are um, just, I, I don't even have words to describe it sometimes. There was a man standing next to a woman, and they looked, you know, connected. He said, it's my mom. So I asked her her name just spontaneously, and she stopped for a second, then she gave her, she said, Camille. And he said, oh my gosh, the first time she's spoken her name in months. So it was like the music had woken her up. And on New Year's Eve, the woman came into the room and said, we have singers. When Eventide came to that room that night and sang for us, surrounded by people all filled with more love than we ever knew we had. And we were given the blessing of this music. And that's what they're about. And I thank you for that. I think we're particularly grateful today to Gail and to Karen for speaking about their father, their friend. I think our deepest gratitude is for those times when we are invited into what is perhaps the most intimate and sacred time of a person's life. I want you now to all imagine that you were confined to your bed by a serious illness. And with our singers surrounding us in the sanctuary, close your eyes and feel the kind of peaceful and healing power of music as it washes over you. My peace.